Hi, right, Jeff Howard here at FixMyKite.com. We want to describe to you how to fix or replace or change out a bridle line on a kite. To kind of give you some hint and, hints and tips that will make it easy for you to either send us in a line to get fixed or show you how you can replace one of those that may be broken. Right here we got the catalyst, so we want to show you a little bit of the line diagram, uh, that the way that the main sits. Now, the most important thing in tools is tape, a little booklet, and a pencil or a pen. These are the most important. I've had so many people take apart their bridle but not log what it is and it doesn't take that long to do. So if I was sitting here drawing this bridle schematic out, pump up your kite, lay it out and take a peek at it. Now if you want to mark everything you can label them. Label them as numbers. One, two, three and so on all the way down the line. Now as you do your drawing, take your time, draw out your kite and draw each connection point where all the lines are connected first. Once you draw these connection points, now draw in the grid that connects them. You have your main connection, and then you just start linking everything into it. So as you go from here, then you draw them out, and continue on. Now you can number these on your schematic. Now don't forget, you also have that mirror image on the other side of your kite, just in case you do make a mistake. But a lot of people will take off a line and forget where that line goes. So if a line is sent in to us with a label, it will go back out to you with a label. So it will always match something that coordinates with your drawing, not our own. So if you send in something, make sure to label that. So here, if I wanted to replace this line, everything is connected in kind of like a daisy chain. You've got your one line goes to the center. The next one, which you could call number two, is connected in with number three. These are all linked in. So if you have to get up here to replace this bridle, we're going to have to disconnect multiple connection points all the way down the chain from the main to a cross. Then that's going to leave those hanging and then you have another cross line. So if I want to replace this one, I've got to remove multiple links. Now if I draw these out, make sure I get my drawing before I remove it, everything will be easy to reconnect those back together again. So don't forget, put tape on them, label them. You also have a mirror image on the other side. Let us know the length. We know the length from end to end from a bridal point when it's laid flat to the other end. We can manufacture it exactly like that. So if you have any questions on how to do this, hopefully this will help you get out. Now don't forget in your schematic, if you have pulleys on your system, draw those pulleys in. The clearer you make your drawing for later when you get your replacement back or you have to go to fix that or change that out, the lot easier it is. That's Jeff Howard here at FixMyKite.com to keep you fixed and ready and on the water.